doctor is asking about um, a stem cell serum. Uh, when do I use stem cell serum? Before or after my skin care? Now remember, the only stem cell serum that I recommend is the world's first powered umbilical cord lining stem cells. Okay, this is very important. We have it right here. It has just been launched. Uh, can you see it? So this is important for you to know that the stem cells that you don't, know, just be careful what kind of stem cells. There are all sorts of stem cells on the market. And, uh, and what I recommend is this particular uh, professional stem cells. Uh, we've got a whole box of them here. And usually they will come up like this in a box. Six packets of six, they come like this. And they are very good, very clean. And, uh, and I apply them in. Remember that you have done your first step of cleansing. You have done your second step of exfoliation. And then you come in with restore. So stem cells restore. They restore the stem cell layer. Remember that. Now, um, and the stem cell layer is very important because uh, I'm not sure whether you can see it here. Can you see it from where you are? Um, so this is where the skin, right? This is the lining of the skin. If you can see, the skin has got two layers, okay? Um, and uh, it's got two layers. Okay, it's got two layers. I hope you can see me on Insta Live too. And so these two layers are important in the skin, the epidermis and the dermis. Okay, epidermis and dermis. So if you have your skin lining, all right, there's a lining of the skin which lines the hair follicles. That's called the basal layer. That's the layer I want when we do stem cell therapy. After you do an antiox facial, the skin is resurfaced. And when you resurface it, um, it's important that uh, we then replenish the stem cells. Now, if you're 30 years old, your stem cells are 30 years old, all right? Your stem cells are not younger than what you are, their age, okay? But remember that just because your, your chronological age is 30, the biological age of your skin can be younger, in fact, or it can be older. And this is important because when you do stem cells, it kind of sends a messenger signal youth messenger signals to the the stem cell layer to promote new stem cells okay and this is important and so this is where the stem cell layer is and whenever there's trauma all right when i do micro needling i want to stimulate the stem cells in the basal layer so that we get some new skins coming up all right and stem cells in the therapy so if i whenever i ask them when do you want to use stem cells is the question um those stem cells are used uh, before before anything else that you apply because it goes right into the stem cell layer okay here in my practice after they've done an antiox facial uh, they we apply it on their face and then we can use either uh, we use ultrasound here so it's an ultrasound kind of delivery of the stem cells remember it's a transdermal delivery now once again these are the layers of the skin okay so this is what's called the dermis and this is called the epidermis, the superficial layer. So when you have done your antiox facial, now you'll find that your stem cell layer is now ready to have its new skin, right? And generate, right? And this is why it's important for you to know whenever you do any antiox facial, what's happening. So in my practice, my particular reason of doing an antiox facial is to get the pH from what it is to about 4.5 to 5.5 uh, and not into the 6 level. pH 6 is where you get acne and acne skin and all that, okay? So it is before you apply any other foundation or moisturizer or hydration or whatever. The stem cell is the first that is applied. And when you apply your stem cells here in my practice with uh, the ones that we have in our clinic, uh, we leave it on for about 10 minutes. You've got to leave it on for about 10 minutes before you start applying all your other creams and all that, whatever, okay? And normally the stem cells that we have here are applied at night, okay? Mm -hmm.